Hello everyone and welcome back to another rip-rocking installment of Madlown uh, attempts to play the console version of Kerbal Space Program. Yes, we are once again returning to Potato Aerospace to try and fulfill the goal that I had in mind, you know, for last week's episode, but then of course all the problems and me just generally not being able to play the game very well happened and we didn't make it to Minmus, but I'm hoping that today that won't be the case and we will in fact make it to Minmus. So um, let's just get right to it, I guess. For those of you that didn't see the uh, the train wreck that was last week's Kerbal Space Program video, to summarize, I'm playing the console version of KSP at the moment because I have a broken hand and uh, I really, really struggle to use a keyboard and mouse. Um, so I decided I'd give the console version of Ker Kerbal Space Program a go. So I'm playing on PlayStation 4 Pro and uh, I've got all the DLCs, I've got Making History and uh, Breaking Ground as well. And I thought it'd be fun just to try and um, unlock the tech tree specifically because I wanted to see what the... Um By the way, this is a live commentary, so it's I'm having to really concentrate whilst also try and sort of summarise what we're doing. I wanted to kind of uh, just, I guess, I guess experience, empathise with my... Uh, console playing subscribers uh, and also because I wanted to see the MUN base which is a oh yeah how do you zoom in again uh, I remember we had this problem there we go zoom out there we go um, because the PlayStation well the, the console version of Kerbal Space Program has one little ace up its sleeve and that is that it has a MUN base that you could unlock and launch vessels from which is exclusive to the consoles it isn't available on the PC version of the game and I'm just curious as to what it looks like I'd really like to know you know, what it looks like. And I've decided to not look at anything uh, beforehand. Show me what it... I know I could just Google this. But you know what? Let's do things the difficult way and find out for ourselves by playing Console Kerbal Space Program. This does sort of segue to my... Uh, I'm going to answer a couple of questions people had. One of them was, uh, Matt, you know the PS4 can accept keyboard and mouse, right? So why don't you just play with a keyboard and mouse? And the thing is, guys, if I could use a keyboard and mouse well, I wouldn't be playing on the console, right? I've got a pretty powerful gaming PC. It's got a 2080 Ti and a Ryzen 3950X. It's the one just below the Threadripper, I, I think, is what I have. It's been a while since I built it, and... Uh, I don't know, I, I always forget what, what's in it, but it's a, it's a powerful computer, basically. It's more than enough to run Kerbal Space Program. I'm only playing on the console version because controllers are basically much easier for me to use with my with my broken hand. The other thing people said, and it's quite touching, actually, a lot of people were concerned. I don't mind bringing two Mystery Goo units, actually. A lot of people were concerned that... Um, I'm going to stress my handbrake or anything like that. And that's not going to happen. Don't worry, guys. It's not like a severe, like, I've literally snapped a bone in half. It's just a basically a bad fracture. So I have a splint to immobilize the hand. But, um, you know, I'm not going to do any damage by playing console KSP. I'm doing some exercises and stuff so I can move the bit of the hand that has the injury. So it's getting better. I just... It, it's more about my general comfort because the actual cast I have on it's very very awkward and cumbersome to use a keyboard on so uh, that's why I'm but it, it's fine if using a PlayStation controller so me and Beth my, my girlfriend in case you don't know I've uh, been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2 because I never played that before and um, that's a game I can I can play at the moment anyway uh, here you can see me just building a rocket very awkwardly I'm trying to just uh, <laughs> talk and build at the same time. So I've not got much tech unlocked, as you may have seen by the limited number of parts, but what we have unlocked is the solar panel. So we can easily do a Minmus mission without needing to worry about running out of electricity. I think this looks good as a Minmus stage. Um, this should easily get us all the way from low curb in orbit down to the surface of Minmus. It's not got very good uh, de delta V, but that's because it's still set to sea level. And when we turn it to vacuum, 2013! What a year. But uh, 2013 meters per second, more than enough to get to Minmus, land on Minmus, hop around a few biomes, and then return. So then that just leaves uh, the actual, I guess, the rocket part of the rocket, the bit that's going to get it to orbit. So let's see. We're going to... Oh, how do you... Because on PC, you hold down shift and you can grab the whole thing. Oh, I guess I can just hold the root part, can't I? <laughs> it's not a very complicated rocket. Okay, so for the stage... but Oh, actually, before we... Before we go any further, I do need to put some landing legs on. There we are. Oh yeah, I did a little poll, by the way. I did a little community post. And people said they were kind of on board with the live review. Because it's like, um, 
you can kind of share my pain. I'm going to take this decoupler off, actually, just to make sure that... Oh, nope. Oh, it's like, it's really tricky. There we go. Some console players are a little bit, I guess, not annoyed, but kind of like, the controls aren't that bad, Matt. Come on. But like, I don't know. I'm just not used to it. Just not used to it. It will get better. I mean, I'm still not a fan of this, like, cursor thing. I've given up on trying to use the um, the PS4 Pro's trackpad, or I guess just the P it's not exclusive to the PS4, is it? But the, the DualShock 4's trackpad, I've given up using that. It's really fiddly. Okay. So, I guess we'll have a tank to circularize. Let's make it uh, a, a darker color so we can differentiate it a bit more easily. Not that it's really that important. We can distinguish it from the upper stage, but whatever. And then we'll add a decoupler like so. Beautiful. And then we will add four. That sounds about right, doesn't it? Four of these tanks. Two. Up, 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 up. There you go. Two. Three. Up. And four. I'd say that's enough. And then we're going to use a swivel engine. Not the most powerful engine we have. The most powerful liquid-fueled engine we have at our disposal is the uh, Reliant. Is the Reliant more powerful than the Thumper? Either way, Thumper's not practical for this particular use case. But the, um, the swivel, as the name would suggest, has thrust vectoring. So it makes the rocket a bit easier to steer. And I learned the hard way, last episode, that I'm not as good at flying rockets on the console as I am on the PC. So I'm going to just make sure this thing definitely stays true and, you know, flight flies well <laughs> by uh, by adding some fins to the bottom. I think it would probably be worth adding uh, maybe four? Maybe four solid rocket boosters too. If I can get the decoupler... Oh, actually, it's pretty. It's a bit easier when you move the camera. There we go. And then <laughs> I'm trying to like keep the commentary interesting, but I'm also trying to like really, really concentrate on getting this thing to clip on properly. There we go. Trust me, guys. The commentary will definitely get better once the flight resumes. Well, the flight starts. I'm sure. Can we? There we go. And then down a little bit. Down. Down. Whoop. The trick is, guys, you want the uh, the engine nozzles of your side boosters to be just below. Just lower than the central core. Makes it a bit more stable on the launch pad, but more importantly, it just helps uh, reduce the the, out, the odds of uh, them destroying the central engine when we detach them. But I don't think I'm, I have the skills required. But wait, maybe I can try the move tool. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that is trippy. Um, this hasn't worked. Can I go that way? Oh my goodness. This has not worked. Um, this has been a disaster. We're just gonna... Uh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna attempt to like... Um, try and get to grips with it. I mean I spent gosh knows how long last episode <laughs> trying to use the rotate tool to no avail. Uh, yeah, I had uh, There's like, uh, like 20 minutes in that video where I just achieve nothing because I'm just trying to use the... Uh, the rotate tool. Okay. We. Whoop. Oh God. Here we go. I mean, if, if this gets too tricky and I'm getting really depressed, we might even get to have a live whiskey review, impromptu. Okay. Now we're gonna add a uh, nose comb. Beautiful. Oh, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it match. There we go. And I'd say. That's pretty good. Now, our thrust rate ratio actually admittedly is really, really high for this um, for this first stage. We'll just reduce the thrust limiter down to uh, maybe like 40... 39.09. That's what I was going for, guys. 39.09 is the optimal th thrust, I think, maybe, for this rocket. I think I'm just looking at it. That looks pretty good. What shall we call it? Write your thoughts in the comments below. And maybe one of you, by sheer luck, will have thought of the name. Uh, mint. Uh, master. Um, 
mayhem. Um, maybe uh, seven. There we go. Mint Master Mayhem 7. Perfect name for a perfect rocket. Now, how do I save it again? I had this problem last time. There we go. Use the start menu. And how are we doing for time? Like 15 minutes, maybe? That's like, that's a record. I remember like last time. I'm going to press launch now, actually, because I know it's going to take a while. Oh, actually, can we do, um, can we have launch clamps? I'm not sure if we can. Structural? No. Uh, I think it's in structural. Anyway, whatever. Uh, I'll make sure my staging is done, actually. That looks fine. That looks fine. <laughs> Uh, yeah, launch. Oh, crap! I've just, da I mean, darn, gosh, dingle, darn, I've made a mistake already. Uh, and I forgot one of the most crucial things I needed to do, actually, and that was to make sure that our rocket is being piloted not by Jebediah, who is usually the default pilot, but by Bob Kerman. Because Bob is a scientist, and we're gonna need a scientist to get, yep, we need to, uh, change that. Uh, revert to vehicle assembly building. Revert to vehicular assembly. Uh, right, so, um, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, right, so we're going to just add a Kerbal, change him out, and yep, fa fans of this, this long-running series may remember that I changed Bob's uniform to be the Making History uniform, so I can more easily distinguish him in the little pilot roster just there. Anyway, yes, Bob is a uh, scientist Kerbal, so he can restore the Mystery Goo and Science Junior experiment, so we can use them infinite number of times. So, uh, whilst we're waiting for it to load, uh, is there anything else that a lot of people mentioned in the comments last time? A lot of people mentioned, actually, that I had a lot of glitches and graphical problems last uh, last time. And, uh, oh yeah, how do you do the fine-tuned throttle? There we go. Maybe, like, a quarter throttle? And people said that that's never happened then, so I must have been doing something wrong. I'm sorry, guys. I, I don't know. I, don't, I've, I haven't intentionally sabotaged my copy of Kerbal Space Program. To make it, like, less fun, I guess. Oh, so we're going to throttle a bit. Oh, that is beautiful. How do you zoom out again? There we are. Ain't that, ain't that good. And then how do you pitch again? Is it... Oh, maybe we don't want to go too aggressively. Oh, fantastic. Now we've got our apoapsis reading in the bottom right. Things are going beautifully. Oh, uh, yeah, people said that that glitch never happens to them. So it, it's... It, I must have done something wrong. I'm sorry. If anyone knows why my game was running so badly last episode, that I am very much open to suggestions in terms of fixing it, because I really, I don't like it performing badly, not just because I'm aware that I'm recording this for viewer entertainment, entertainment there in air quotes, <laughs> um, but because, you know, it's not very fun to play. But I'm hoping that things go well. It seems to be whenever I cross the Carmen line, or the Kerman line, <laughs> uh, things get a bit choppy. So let's see how we go. So we're nearly running out of solid fuel. Uh, so we're going to start throttling up to max. And we're going to detach. Oh, look at that. Perfect separation. Don't worry about the explosions, guys. Now we're just going to begin our coast all the way up to orbit. Trying to keep my gravity turn nice and smooth. And evidently not doing a very good job. In an ideal world, I would have turned on auto strut uh, across the uh, the whole fuselage of this rocket so that it doesn't wobble like you can see it doing here. Uh, but whatever, you know, it's fine. It's minmus. Doesn't matter. So we should, in theory, almost get to orbit using this stage. We'll have to perform our circularization. Well, I guess we'll have to finish raising our apoapsis and ultimately perform our circularization using the next stage. But um. This should get us most of the way. In fact, I'm not going to fully circularize using the next stage because I don't want to leave space debris in orbit. Yes, although this is not Lown Aerospace, this is Potato Aerospace. We are still following my uh, my my like rule where I try not to leave any debris stuck floating in deep space to save the uh, the solar bears, as it were. Uh, you guys keep getting annoyed that I don't call them solar bears when I say the space polar bears in the comments. So so there you go. Was there anything else? Uh, that people mentioned it. I guess there was a few. I got a lot of few useful tips. Uh, generally, people said that the reason a lot of the stuff I was trying to use didn't work last time because I had the cursor enabled, and when the cursor's up, this basically enables like a like a soft lock on the entire UI. Oh, let's just quickly stage a lock on the UI. I guess to prevent accidental inputs and stuff. So, um, yep, yeah, duly noted, I might have had the cursor enabled whenever I couldn't click something or anything, although I do maintain, re the footage, that I don't know why Jebel Dyer couldn't get back into the cockpit. 
uh, whenever I asked him to re-embark the vessel. So not quite sure why that happened. Hopefully that doesn't happen this time. And there's a beautiful little shot of the rocket performing. I really hope this makes it to orbit because I don't want to do this again <laughs> in, li in live commentary. Uh, maybe I should throttle down a little bit. Because we, 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 our apparatus is getting pretty... Oh, whatever. I'll just leave it on full. It's easier, isn't it? Um, oh, yeah. Sherbert. Sherbert007. I, I wrote this name down because he wrote a very long comment. Uh, it was one of the more upvoted, or I guess thumbed up comments. Uh, giving lots of... Um, giving a summation of all the tips and tricks I got from people. Oh, let's just make sure I'm following apparatus here. Um, yeah, I mean, a general observation is that uh, I'm bad at the console. So, um, yeah... I mean, going back to the uh, the poor performance that people mentioned, you know, say, oh, it shouldn't perform this badly. Maybe it's the fact that you're using recording software. Um, but my PS4 is not doing any recording. I don't think the PS4 can even record stuff, right? I know it has the ability to stream and do, like, mini, mini like, 30-second clips and stuff. But it's not doing any of the recording that you're watching. The recording is all being handled by my PC. Uh, the PS4 is basically hooked up to a capture card that's inside my computer. And then my computer is doing all the recording and the encoding. The PS4, it's, like, no different to just recording. Uh, it's just no different to having it plugged into a TV, basically. So I'm going to go for a parapsis of... That's fine, isn't it? That's pretty good. I feel like I've been too efficient, actually, here. Um... Oh, no, yeah. No. I was thinking for some reason I had another stage above this one, but I don't, so that's fine. So once I get above... Actually, to be honest, because of the fact that it's so glitchy... I'm going to make a quick save. <laughs> uh, because it's so glitchy whenever I seem to cross the Carmen line for some reason. And a, people, people said, a lot of people said, don't bother using the weapon wheel thing, you know. How do you even get it up? Oh, uh, the cursor... This this thing, they said, don't... They don't... They said, oh! And so it begins, guys. <laughs> there we go. Not sure happened there, but yeah, but whenever they said don't use that, just use the cursor to do things like time warp. So let's have a go. Oh, the fr I, my PS4 is very loud. It's like, hopefully you guys can't hear it. This microphone is pretty good at isolating any background noises or anything. That's why I got this microphone because I live in like a terrorist house and any like noises that happen on the street or next door or just in this house in general. I've got a very noisy cat. So they won't get picked up by the microphone. And I'm hoping that that also applies to the PlayStation's uh, jet engine that's cooling it. And there we go. We are in space. Look at that. And how do I... How do I stop time warping? Oh, I have to select the the arrow. There we go. And we got four minutes to apoapsis. So let's... Um, how do you open the map screen again? Uh, is it... There. There we go. Right. Let's have a go at making a maneuver node. Uh, we might be able to make a move to get us directly to Minmus, but I'm not even going to try. I don't even know where Minmus is. I'm not going to try and do anything fancy. I really want this mission to just go well. Because, you know, like I say, editing videos require... Ooh, the maneuver node is different. Okay, so L1... Oh. Um, L1 seems... How do I get the cursor? There we go. L1 seems to cycle between the axes. Although, can I just use the cursor? Oh, right, I've got the maneuver node screen on the thing, that's why. So we're going to do it down here. Is that the... Uh, oh, no, never mind then. I just want to... Okay. Hang on, guys. <laughs> uh, okay, right, and then we get the cursor up. Hey, boy! Can we... Oh. Okay, this is actually starting to get a bit concerning. We've got three minutes. We've got time. This is the first hurdle that Matt needs to overcome this week. So maneuver node. Uh, I don't know. I've never actually used the maneuver node window. Uh, so I need that thing, right? And then just this. Oh! Okay. That's how you do it. <laughs> so uh, I'm, dragging on I'm dragging on retrograde. Why is it still increasing the apogee? I'm literally dragging retrograde. Why is it... Okay, so... Some for some reason it's back to front. Oh my gosh, it's very. Can I use these buttons? I can't use the D-pad. <gasps> oh! Sorry, I actually turned the throttle on. <laughs> um, well, our periapsis is now uh above the common line, right? Oh no, it's not. Oh, hang on. So it, like dynamically changes. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna we can just time warp and just do it manually, and then we'll worry about the maneuver node when it comes to uh oh. It just comes to when it comes when it 
when it comes to... Okay, I might have to use the weapon wheel. There we go. Yes! Right, I'm not going to go any faster than that because I really don't want to overshoot my apoapsis. So we're looking down. Two minutes to go. One minute, 50, 40, 30. Okay, we can go a bit faster. Oh, okay. The signal just dropped out. Gonna go that, uh, uh, up, up, uh, up, no, grab that, that arrow there. <gasps> oh God, I've overshot. I can't click it. I'm not very good. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We only just overshot. And then we'll just uh, throttle up. I'm just gonna wait for them to swing around. <laughs> there, whoop, oh, actually, oh, damn. Darn. Oh, sorry. There goes my monetization. Uh, that's, um, well, my plan of uh, deorbiting this lower stage is now over. How do I change the camera mode? That would be a good thing to know. Uh, and I don't, is it, maybe it's on the weapon wheel. Open map, tornable, and the, oh, hmm. How do you change the map? Guys, let me, oh! There you go. It's uh, it's R three, by the way, because <laughs> again, why would anyone need to use the auto map? Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna quick save. They are gonna be using very heavy use of the quick save this 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 week, guys. So we're gonna stage. I guess I didn't need to do that. Actually, why did I do that? I'm gonna reload a quick save because <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I'll I'll detach this because this was my plan. Oh, I've got more than one apparently. Oh, now. Which one is it? I guess this one, right? Because that's the latest one? Yes. Well, now we can see if quick saving were. I mean, I'm saving 102 meters per second, but at this point, I, I mean, I can, I'm going to take what I can get on the Contour version of Kerbal Space Program, quite frankly, and there it is. Mint Master Mayhem 7. I mean, I wish I could see it, but I'm assuming it looks pretty epic. So, let's go ahead and open the map screen. I have to like, look at my controller. So where is Minmus? Uh, how do you zoom out again? I'll have to turn off the the uh, thing. There we are. Right. So, and then cursor, and then Min. Oh, it's so difficult. There we go. Set as target. Yes. So you want to create a maneuver node, a sort of ninety degrees from Minmus. So it looks like it might even be. We haven't got to do any mid course corrections, which is nice. Add maneuver. Right. And then we're just gonna. What is this? Oh. Oh, so that's what these things are. You can use the analog stick to just move it around your robot. That's a nice little, that's a nice touch. Oh, okay. So then you can just use up and down on the joystick straight away to adjust the maneuver node. That's a nice thing to know. It looks like I might have to do a mid-course correction burn, guys. But that looks, that looks simple enough, doesn't it? Uh, i got to zoom out. Can I zoom out any further? Or oh, whilst I'm editing the, the thing? Let's just, uh, whoop. Oh, no, I don't want radial in. I want, uh, oh. Oh, hang on. Hang on, guys. I've, I've messed up. Um, you know, that's, that's close enough. I want these ones. I want prograde and retrograde. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is not, this is just my complete lack of dext. I feel like the sensitivity on the, uh, the sticks is a bit high. And then we can create a second maneuver node here. There, please. And we'll do a, a normal and anti-normal adjustment. Not quite that extreme. And then we can go back to this one. Eh? Now, I, I would... Up. Oh, I've got a mun encounter. This is, I guess, you know, it's, it's a, this could have this could have gone better, really. Again, uh, I feel like I could have done this really easily with a keyboard. Up. Oh, yep. Yep. Up. Oh, up. Yep. Yep. Yep, oh, uh, there it was. But then, like, I press, like, I let go of the joystick, but, like, because it's an analog joystick, I, it still has some travel distance. Oh, see, I had to just press L3 to, like, um, release the maneuver node thing, and that, um, well, that re that resulted in what you just saw. So, um, we can just, uh, we can just go ahead and just get ready to do this, right? Uh, I mean, we'll just make a quick save before I do the burn, and then it's fine. I'm not that bothered about it being completely accurate because it's pretty easy to make adjustments and we are factoring in for the fact that uh, there's going to be a mid-course correction burn. So it's all good, I guess. So where is... I'm going to I'm gonna use the weapon wheel. Sorry, everyone that recommended I don't. But like... Uh, oh. And then warp speed. So you can control the warp speed like that. This is much easier. 
So, node in 20 minutes. Oh yeah, I forgot on console you can't edit stuff like this where it restricts how fast how fast you can time up. My biggest pet peeve with that is the whole you cannot quick save when you're about to crash. When oftentimes you're not about to crash, but the thing just pops up when you're underneath 500 meters above the surface, which is stupid. Because oftentimes, like on Juna, for example, you often want a quick save just before you do a landing. Because landing on Juna, and even places like Eve, which is often quite a forgiving place to land, really, uh, it can be quite difficult. Oh, hang on. Oh, I've messed up. I should have started burning a long time ago. Never mind. We'll just start burning now. Really, you want to start burning about a, a 30 seconds before a burn like this. You take your burn time indicator, cut it in half, and then you should start your burn when you're that amount of time from your maneuver node. Oh, please exit time warp mode. There we go. Oh. There we go. And let me continue. <laughs> yeah, that's just how you get your most a most efficient burn. So that means that your maneuver node ends up being about at the halfway point for your entire burn, which is basically just the most efficient place to burn. But really, I guess it's not a very big burn, all things considered, and it's quite a forgiving burn, really. We should easily be able to make adjustments as we go on the fly. On the fly, get it? Because it's it's Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, that wasn't funny, was it? But you know, I've got a I've got a limited pack of cards to work with. Um, okay, so now that we're getting there, let's just open up the map screen. I'm going to try and zoom out if I remember the button. There we go. And it's down on the D-pad. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm going to press down on the D-pad when we're at there. I mean, it's about, it's about 950-ish meters per second to get to Minmus. So once we've ex exhausted that amount of fuel, I'll cut the burn. So there it goes. Once you get past the moon, it starts to go really, really quickly. And that's, uh, oh, there we go. That's fine. <laughs> So, tick. Good. Tick. Tick. Can I click the tick? Oh, there we go. Beautiful. And now we'll create another maneuver node. This, let's just put it there. That's fine, I guess. Uh, and then we want to go, oh, crumbs, crumbs. Okay. Let's just, oh, hang on. Um, cancel. It's just practice, guys. Just practice, guys. Don't worry. We're going to create another maneuver node. There we go. Add maneuver. Such a pro. And then we're going to go boom. Oh. Hmm. So close, you know? So close yet. So very far away. Can I just do some cheeky pro grade and retrograde burns to adjust? So, all in all, you know, it. Oh, not a, not a big burn. Oh, it's f trying to get me a money encounter. Can I get just up and down a bit? Oh, it's so difficult. It's so difficult. Oh, oh, now I've pressed the wrong button again. It's more the sensitivity of the joystick, is it, if anything. It's so twitchy. That's got to be it. Yeah, right. And then how do I exit? It's just... Can I just close the map screen? That goes... Okay, right. Good. So, it's it's a bit more... It's a, it's a slightly more expensive burn than I would have liked. But I will take it. <laughs> so, maneuver, maneuver. There we go. And then it's what we're going to do. We'll, we'll actually, we'll time up first. So I can actually see my craft and you guys can see the craft. So, we'll open the weapon wheel. Oh, now we're flying. There we are. It's still very dark, isn't it? I guess I guess I'm just used to like playing on my PC version of the game where I have the brightness cranked way up because I'm aware that YouTube makes videos very dark. So if you're starting with very dark raw, f oh, so I overshot the burn a little bit, guys. So we're gonna just uh oh, I won't make a quick save. Let's just go exit warp mode. Okay, so up, 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 up. We're just gonna pulse it like this. Oh, I've got an encounter with something. I mean, it's ten meters per second to go. So let's just uh, close that. Can I close that? Can I close the maneuver node? Do I have to do it outside the map screen? Oh, so difficult, please. Okay, I can't. Why can't I? Oh, I've got not got a connection to the KSC, that's why. Well, whatever, I don't need it. It's just gonna be really annoying now. So um, here we go, we're gonna, I think it's L. Oh, look at that, what a pro. I'm something of a KSP console player myself, you know. 
Can I... No, how do I focus on Minmus? You click it. I know that. I know this. This is like a thing that's... Uh, yeah, that, so I want to just... Uh, right, and then we're going to zoom right in. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. And then just... Uh, we'll just cut there. Beautiful. Now I'm going to be cheeky. I'm going to get a bit cocky here. We're going to adjust our uh, encounter a little bit manually. Oh, look at that. Now we're going to be in an equatorial orbit. Actually, we're not. We're on a collision course. But it's okay. It's okay. We'll just do another quick burn. And then it's just, it's just that simple, guys. It is just that simple. Now, for fairness sake, oh, I'm just going to do this quickly. I'm going to say, I'm going to save. I'm going to save the game. And I'm going to just, because it's going to really bug me not being able to just disable the maneuver node. I still maintain that you should just be able to, like, delete maneuver nodes. Even if you've not got a connection to the uh, KSC. It's only, like, uh, what's it called? Making maneuver nodes that you shouldn't be able to do. But it's just so annoying to have a maneuver node there. So I guess I could have planned better, but for, like... For fairness's sake, I won't make any more maneuver nodes for the rest of this mission, which is not a very tall order because I've done all the complicated maneuver node making, and quite frankly, it's easy for me to just not bother with maneuver nodes at this point because um, it's really difficult for me to use the thing, enter everyone commenting. You know, you can adjust the stick sensitivity in the settings. I know that probably wouldn't surprise me, but uh, oh, I'm really bad at doing the time warping. But, you know, it's just... But I feel like the default option should always be the best option, right? It's like, that's why I get so annoyed with autocam. Why can't I zoom in? Oh, I have to exit time warp mode. Okay. That's why I get so annoyed with auto camera being the default camera when it's the worst. It's the worst camera. I hate it. Uh, now, how do I enable... There we go. Time warp, time warp mode. Nice. See, now we're just getting used to it. Now, sometimes... I have a bit of a... Oh... Uh, well, there you are. I was looking at the Mun, apparently. <laughs> uh, it's okay, guys. You know, Minmus missions, they are tricky things. And, uh, you know, it's not like I'm established as being a person that's supposedly good at Kerbal Space Program or anything, so it's fine, you know? Oh. Have a, have a sip, sip of water. Oh, you're joking me. Did I... I thought I quick saved... Oh, right, I did, yeah. Oh yeah, I quick saved uh, before I deleted the maneuver node. Okay, we're going to speed run it. I said last time, guys, that this is a speed run of Kerbal's space program. Uh, so um, that, that's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to speed run it just so we can delete that maneuver node. And then we're going to, up, and then we're going to, up, up, up. There we go. <laughs> I was trying to open the thing and I realized I saw the cursor open. We're going to time up around. Bada bum, bada bum, bada bim. Up. Okay, now I'm going to just quickly quick save. I've got a real bad habit of getting really impatient with time warp and just overshooting my periapsis. Because curse is another thing where, like, if you time warp too fast, it will then suddenly have a bit of a physics stutter as you get close to a celestial body. And during that stutter, it can be impossible to drop out of time warp in time. It's the excuse I'm going with anyway. So, um, where's our... Okay, 11 minutes. If actually, I can drop out of time warp because I'm going very fast. Maneuver node mode. There we are. Now we should point retrograde. I feel like we're now at a safe distance where I can drop up. Oh, there we go. We can drop out of the map screen and just do time warping by eyeball. Where is it? Oh, right, yes, we've got the crappy camera. Now we can see what we're doing. We're just going to time warp down. Time warp, got the cursor. Yep, thank you. Uh, time warp down. Here we go. So uh, well, let's just burn like, I don't know, a minute from periapsis. Oh, I suppose our orbital speed's not that high. Let's just do 30 seconds from periapsis. We'll do the burn. Yeah, fine, good. Oh, maybe we want to go a bit further. Let's do 15 seconds. Why not? Okay, I overshot. Well, there we go. We're burning at periapsis now. And then we'll just watch the apoapsis indicator. I mean, we've got a 30k periapsis, which is a fairly safe periapsis height for Mimbus. Mimbus is a fairly lumpy celestial body. So you don't want the periapsis and apoapsis to be too low. But you just don't want them to be too high, because then it just makes landing a bit of a pain. And there we are. It's just that simple, guys. There it is. That is my tutorial of how to get to Minmus. Join us next time. No, I'm not going to drag the series out like that. I feel like people don't want me to drag this series out. Okay, so I don't really care where we land, to be honest. Let's just land 
on the flats. And then we can try bio hopping once I've got it practice. Like we've got 900 meters, but we've got loads of Delta V to get home. Like for reference, like to get back to Kerbin, this is how much Delta V you need. It's like, you just create, I'm already regret doing this. I should be doing this. I feel like you guys even know, don't you? But like, basically you just drag out and it's like, and it's, 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 this hasn't, this hasn't been helpful because I can't even see. Whatever, it's like, it's not, I don't actually know the exact amount, but it's a very negligible amount of Delta V compared to how much it takes to get to Minmus anyway. Because you can just use uh, Kerbin's, oh gosh, have I, I did put a heat shield on, didn't I? Yes. Now what I could have done, guys, was, <laughs> was uh, drain, drain? Like, remove a lot of the ablative material because I don't need it all, but, you know, it's just easier to just not bother. Uh, this looks good. I want to be aiming for the flats, which is that big, unsurprisingly flat-looking spot. So, uh, there we go. Uh, and then we'll just, uh, time warp again. Oh, see, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting used to it now. I'm getting used to it. We'll just time warp around. I'm going to have a sip of water. Ah, beautiful. Uh, oh, gosh, I've dropped my phone. Oh, no. Oh, okay. My phone is fine, guys. I know you're all getting worried about... Okay. Oh, gosh. We're still time warping. Okay. It's fine. Don't worry. So, we're going to point retrograde, and then we'll just wait for us to... We'll just clear this ridge. I mean, it takes, like, no effort whatsoever to land on Minmus, so we could just wait a little while. Okay, so now we can't time warp any further, apparently, so let's just deploy the legs. There they go. Oh, gosh. I haven't been doing any science. Oh, whatever. We can do the science on the way back. I should have been... I forgot that we're not just doing a Minmus mission. We are actually here for a reason. But, you know, it's fine. So, this is uh, this is fine, I guess. Let's just let's just decelerate. Because then we can land, like, over here. Ah, look at that. I'm using the, I'm using the cursor to show you guys. Because there's, like, a slope biome and then, like, a, another biome there. So, yeah, fine. Good. Can I not... Oh, crap. Uh, how do I go back into time warp mode? Can I really not time warp any more? Really? Okay, so we want to go on to physics warp. And then physics warp. Physics physics warp. Okay, and then is that there now? But that's still normal time warp. Okay, I'm clearly just being an idiot. Do I have to do that? Ah, yes, I did. I did have to do that. So let's just, uh, let's just watch the ship. I'm concentrating so hard, guys. Uh, I might have left it too late. Whatever. No, I haven't. It's fine. Don't know what you guys are getting worried about. I know how to play this game. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is... That is B-E-A-utiful, that is. Let's see if we can do a... Oh, look at that. Oh, that's... That's... Mwah, that's perfect. And like you can touch down at a fairly high speed on Minimus, but let's try and do a nice slow touchdown. Boom. Boom. Bush. Yes. I can play this game occasionally. Okay, then we're gonna try and oh, it's fine. It's a bit wobbly, isn't it? Let's just do a save. Right. Now we can do my my favorite thing, and that is fight the awkward UI. So we want to do a couple of things with the crew pod. We want to do a crew report. And we want to do an EVA. And then we want to do the next thing we do with our crew report, which is take it. We want to take it. Take the data. Oh, take the data. There we go. We're going to click it. Eventually, there we go. Take the data, and then we're going to click our Kerbal. Uh, and then we're going to do a EVA report. Oh, come on, cursor. There we go. Mimus is greater flats. Yes, we want that. And then we're also going to do an, uh, a surface sample as well. Take surface sample. Nice. Excellent. And then we can just... Uh, let go. I, oh, no, I actually want to stay holding on for a second because now we need to do our experiments. Can I close the navel? Yes, I can. Uh, we're going to do a thermometer thing. Just, just, shut up. Oh, it's gone. It went over there for some reason. Just, just, oh, please. Right, there must, 
come on. This is way too... Sensitivity. Cursor speed, that's probably, isn't it? Let's drop it down to like 33. Oh, this is so much better. This is so much better. Right, we want to take a thing. I want to click that. There we go. We're going to take a, a pressure reading two. I thought I'd unlock the seismometer by this point. Oh, maybe I hadn't. Uh, observe the materials bay. A beautiful. And then we can go ahead and take that data. Remove. And then we can go ahead and click it one more time. And restore. I wish there was a remove and restore option. You'd think that would be the default for scientists. They would automatically restore it. Just adding another click. Which is fine on PC. But you know on the console. It's just a little bit awkward. <laughs> Collect data. Rem oh. Remove the data. And then we can restore that too. Beautiful. And then we can... Uh, oh, I got back on. I guess that's fine. But we do need to do uh, a ceremonial uh, flag plant. We're technically on episode 3 of this series. And I haven't yet planted a flag. So um, I need to just, just jump. Oh, now this is going to be fun. I don't know how to enable the jetpacks. That's going to be fun getting back onto this thing. But we're going to just do one thing at a time, guys. Plant a flag. And realize that it's going to be back to front unless I move the camera around. Yes! I can't see it. We're going to have to go with the... Uh, edit name. Whatever. E. Fine. Whoop. Done. <laughs> and then, uh, how do I, how do I close this? Right, so, I'm going to just press everything. Um, uh, hmm. Getting a little bit nervous here, guys. I mean, I know I have... I know Kerbals can use their jetpack because I have EVA fuel and I can I can literally see the jetpack. Um, I'm just staring at my controller. What buttons do I have that I haven't yet pressed? Is it ground? And that's... Just enable it. Just please. Um, deploy... Um, oh gosh. Oh gosh. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm using the D-pad. Oh, no. Got to get rid of the cursor. Ah! Oh! Yes! What did I press? Left on the D-pad. And it's just that simple, guys. And then... Oh, yes. Now, this is actually really fun. Now I know what to do. This is actually better than the uh, PC, because I've got a joystick and stuff. Oh! I mean, another thing some people wrote in the comments is, why don't you just use a controller on your PC? And the controller doesn't work on PC. Like, it's only... At least, the, like, you could use something like, I don't know, Joy to Key or something. But, uh... It doesn't have... Oh my god, what is happening? What is happening? Yo, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm sorry, what? What? What just happened? Oh my gosh. That was so scary. Oh no. <laughs> Please say I can. It's fine. It's Minmus. What was that? For real. What was that? Oh, it's whatever. We, we can flip ourselves back up. But like. Oh my gosh. I'm saving. That was so scary. I didn't want to have to redo all the sites we just did. So we can just go to another biome, I guess. Um, there. Is that good? Where are we? Um, sure. I suppose that's that little island over there, isn't it? Whatever. We'll just, we'll just go. It's doing it again. We'll just... Okay. Um, I just gotta... Just... I've just... It's just so difficult, guys. We're just gonna go there. I don't even care if it's not even the closest region. We're just, we're just, we're just gonna, oh, just as high as we can get the, just go. 
Right. Okay, it's fine. It's still spinning on the spot. Oh, right. There we go. And we're just going to very, very slowly spin this around. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to get the cursor so I can see my electric charge. I don't know why the signal keeps dropping out. I think that's a... Maybe it's the HDMI cable. It's like a ridiculously long HDMI cable. Maybe it's something to do with that. I don't know. It is like a good... Like, it's a 4K... It supports 4K and HDR. What is that? HDMI 2 or something? I don't know. It's like the, it's like the best grade of HDMI cable you can get. Maybe it's just because it's draped across half my PC that it's like getting electrical images. Oh my gosh, I hate this. This is so difficult. Right, just there. I need to go this way. It's because of the inverted controls. I'm not used to it. Right, we're just going to hop our way over like this. And it's fine, guys. I say we just do one more biome. I can't be bothered to keep on looking out to see if I can find slopes. Actually, we can do an EVA. This is really risky, isn't it? We can do an EVA report. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to bother. <laughs> oh, look, there's a there's a breaking ground thing there. I could go to that. Let's land and we can just waddle our way over. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, that's a shadow. <laughs> ignore me, guys. Ignore me. So at this point, I've not got much to talk about. And I foresaw an event like this. And so I decided to... I, I googled good space jokes, like jokes related to space. And I thought I could just read some of them to you during moments like this, where I've basically just got nothing to actively talk about. I think it's from like the Beano.com, and I used to read the Beano, Beano as a as a young as a young person back in my. Oh, I feel like I'm literally not pressing anything on the thing right now. Okay, sorry, it's fine, guys. There we go. Okay, the jokes are gonna have to wait, guys. Get yourselves right. It, I'm pressing, I'm pressing up on the D, on the joystick. These are like supposedly inverted controls, but it's not responding. So I press down on the D-pad and then it still spins the same way. D-pad, he's in D-pad, I mean joystick. It's really hard trying to control this. I'm pressing the same thing. Why is it doing the same thing on the ship? You know, I'm just going to use auto SAS. I'm just going to use auto SAS. And this is going to be the last biome we do. Because I'm aware that this video is like near, it's coming up to an hour. It'll probably be like an hour by the time I've finished this mission. I'm just going to land somewhere vaguely flat. This is probably pretty near there. Okay, so let's let's throw some let's let's throw some jokes out. How do you throw a space party? You plan it. Did you hear about the claustrophobic astronaut? Funny joke. He just needed a little space. Why? Oh my gosh, I'm about to crash. <laughs> Why? What does a dentist call an astronaut's cavity? A black hole. It's also what you might call this series. <laughs> okay, we're now going to just keep the speed nice and low. There we go. Oh, top tip, guys. You can press this button here and it like levels the altitude gauge relative to the terrain you're on. And then you can panic when you realize you're a lot close to the ground than you thought you were. There we go. I mean, as long as it's under 10 meters per second, you're generally pretty safe on Minmus. There we go. Beautiful. Now, I hope that it's not glitched and I'm in the same biome, because that would be a big sad. Let's see where we are. Uh, crew report. Here we go. Ah, Minmus is lowlands. Very nice. Uh, we'll do a thingy. Observe materials bay. Very nice. We can do a mystery goo experiment too. Yeah, that rhymed. I'm a poet and I didn't realize it. I observe the goo. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, log pressure. Oh, back. We didn't take the data from before. So we'll do the temperature and thing when we're out there. Did it? Oh. So I think it's like disabling SAS just makes the whole thing freak out. And I'm used to... Because disabling and enabling SAS is circle, which is often the back button on PlayStation games. So whenever I try and close a menu, I just automatically press circle. Did I do a crew report? I can't even remember. Um, oh, it's because I'm pressing the hatch, isn't it? Uh, here we go. Scroll. Scroll. There we go. Crew report. I'm sure I did one, didn't I? I know I did. Yeah, back. Okay, and then we want to just close this. 
Charles. <laughs> it's rocking. We've got a lot of electric charge, though. EVA. Cool. And then we can just uh, take the data. Because we still need to do some crew reports and stuff once we leave Minmus surface. Take the data. And then we can store it in a bit. We're going to also take this data. Once that thing fades away. Take. And then open it again. Log pressure. Yep. Click it one last time. And take. Because the players want to play, 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 play. And the takers want to take, take, take. In the words of Miss Smith. Um, Miss Smith? No, it's Swift, isn't it? Taylor Swift. You can tell I'm a real Swifty, right? <laughs> okay, and then we're going to just do that. Log temperature. I, I, there we go. <laughs> and going to keep the experiment. And then we're going to just... Oh, Click it again. Clicky dicky do. Oh, uh, I guess we can just store because I clicked the wrong thing. We'll just store them though whilst we're here. We're just gonna take the data. We're gonna try and read it through the temperature of minimalist lowlands, right? Then we're gonna just just get close this. And then we're gonna collect the data from this. Remove. Collect. Remove. Um, we can restore them both also. Restore. Beautiful. And then we can do a few things with our Kerbal. So Bob can, if I can click him, if I can click him, if I can click him, can I click him? I cannot, apparently. Just click. I'm clicking him. There he is, right. Uh, EVA report. There we are. I feel like a superhero. I feel like... Deja vu is what I feel like. Uh, EVA report. I've just done that one. I want to take a surface sample. The surface samples are where the money's at. Here come the money. Uh, we're going to let go. Because now we got to plant a flag. And this is not just for Ego this time. Like, that was the first reason. It was a big achievement for Potato Aerospace. Against all odds, we made it to another celestial body. But now, and this is what I recommend people do, is we can record the biome that we're in. I'm probably not going to return to Minmus for the sake of keeping this series varied, but you can, in theory, unlock the entire tech tree without leaving the Kerbin system. But it's good, it's a good idea to keep a track of which biomes you... Why can't I do the cursor? All right, because I've got to... It's a good idea to keep track of which biome you've been to by just having it visible on the map screen. And indeed, I guess, on the, uh, the tracking station if you enable flags. But that means, like, you can see that you've been to the loans before, so you don't have to, like, w bother returning to them. And that's everything we need to do, so we can just take that, and then, what is it, left on the deep? Oh, cursor first, and then we want uh, RCS. Oh, and actually, let's go to a breaking ground thing. I'm first things first going to make a save, though. And I'm going to save it as something, like, quick save egg. Because <laughs> I'm paranoid that reloading a quick save in this state will cause the lander to glitch out. So, and we want to enable lights also. Right, and then where was the thing? I know there was one nearby. I feel like it was over there. I don't see one over there. But I don't see one over there. I don't see one anywhere! Oh, there it is. <laughs> now, is that the Highlands? Should we be cheeky? And have a little ganders. We can just fly the spaceship up there. And it won't take very much effort, but I'm also aware that it's a long old video. So let's not bother. By the way, the reason I've got that red record, there might not be a red record symbol for you guys, but there might be for me. And that's because I keep getting glitches with my uh, Elgato software. That's the game capture software. There's some more little ones there. Oh my gosh, I'm going very fast, aren't I? Oh no, I'm going to overshoot. Ugh. Here we go. Yeah, it's because um my my capture card it doesn't really capture my microphone properly. It always ends up really glitchy. So at the same time, I've started recording my audio like in Audacity, uh, and then I've got two copies of the audio, and I'm also recording the actual like game capture preview window using Nvidia Shadow Play. So I've got fail safes for everything, and so far the video has been a bit out of sync with the audio over time. Like, um, if I have to use the external audio, which I almost certainly will, it won't match up with the um, the captured video. 
I guess because it maybe lag drops frames or something. So basically, I can get it all synchronized up, but then after half an hour, everything's horribly out of sync. But that doesn't happen if I just capture what is literally being recorded using my uh, Shadow Play software. Does that make sense? I don't know. I just need something to talk about whilst I was making my way over here. So can I now do something with this? I don't even know if you can. I hope you can. No, you can't. Because you're right, because I'm an idiot, and you need... Um, you need a scanning arm, don't you? Yeah. Well, it's um, it was a nice thought, wasn't it? Make sure there's definitely no... I could have sworn you can, unless it's like the little ones. Maybe it's the little ones. Let's just have a little look. Hey, a little look. A little look. There were loads of them. Oh, hang on, let me just close that. Uh, cursor. Curse your cursor. There's one. Let's go to that one. Now, please, can you turn? Does that have to be on chase cam? I'm sorry, I'm trying. I'm really concentrating here, guys. Sorry, what did the US give Russia for landing on the moon after them? A constellation prize. Now, doesn't that make all of this worth it? We want to go that way. No, that way. Oh, God. Okay, it's... Oh! <gasps> no! That was so scary. Um, Disable. We want to disable RCS. Oh my god, that was so scary. <laughs> I would say there's a good thumbnail shot, but this is so ro low res. I'm probably going to either use another picture of me. I mean, can you just... Can you stabilize yourself? Yes, you can. Well, that was fun. And look, now he's actually responding to my... Okay, never mind. He's not. Um, Where was that thing? Was it near? I feel like it was really close. Oh, and now he's fallen again. Oh, maybe it's on the thing. Maybe I need to turn on SAS. Yes, I think I do. Okay, never mind. No, I don't. Let's just... Uh, no signal. Okay, we're going to... Up uh, there. Why is the signal dropping out? My PS4 has suddenly started making a lot more noise. Maybe it's overheating. Although it is on. A, viewers of this series will know that I did put it on like a cooling mat, um, like with fans blowing air onto it to make sure it didn't overheat. Whatever. I guess our portrait has also gone. Tusk. <laughs> Where is uh? Okay, it's not that far away. I didn't want to like look at the thing and see like, oh, I'm now 18 kilometers from my lander. <gasps> oh my god, I got like no EVA propellant. Oh no! Oh, I'm gonna have to walk. I might just use cheats just for the sake of you, the viewer, not to endure this. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm so disappointed in myself. We're well, gonna have to just put it away, I guess. Uh. I don't even know if you can do a cheat menu in them. Um, if it does come to that, I will. Oh. If it does come to that, I will just force myself to. Oh, there we go. I can. I knew I could. Pick up green sandstone. Yes. It was all worth it in the end, guys. Oh, wow. It was. That's huge. 150 science. Can I do anything else? What I might do is um, take a surface sample again, or EVA report again. Because, no, it's still the lowlands. Like if it's a different biome, then we know we can just hop the lander over here. But it isn't, so we can't. Where is the lander? Oh, it's miles away. Okay. Um, I think I will just have to fast forward this or cut in some way because uh, I'm not going to make you guys sit through this. So I'll just join you guys after the break, okay? Okay, and we've pretty much made it back. Whew, that took a lot longer than I hoped, but um, we're back now. So yes, I am definitely going to uh, speed that up. <laughs> um, so, how do I... It's been so long. I was a younger person when I begun that journey. Right, now we're going to just quickly... I didn't want to use any fuel just in case I didn't have enough to get back into the ship, which I now realize was a 
was not a worry I needed to think about. <gasps> okay, I pressed the wrong button. My bad. Okay, good. We've got everything we need. So we're going to make one more quick save. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to bother. Make it... Yeah, quick save, whatever. I'm not going to bother doing any more biomes. We're just going to go home, I think. Uh, so we want to point 90 degrees to get the most efficient ascent possible. Not that it really costs anything at all to get back from Minmus. But, you know, whatever. Um... So our app is already quite high. Let's just uh, point like there. Oh. No, not that way. This way. Oh my god, it's so tricky. I feel like it's actually not working like, as it's intended. Because I pressed the same button on the joystick and it goes this... Like I'm pressing up on the joystick right now. And nothing is happening. And then when I press down, it just goes the same direction but faster. Oh my god, I, I literally, I literally cannot. Do I have to like roll it? Now if I press up. That is so, that is so jank. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to get our wrap ups this nice and high. Where is our wrap ups? This is here. Let's just keep burning to get nice and high. That is weird. That is so weird. Right, whatever. That's fine. Uh, now we're like somewhat off the ground. We can quickly do some science whilst we're in space near to Minmus. Observe Materials Bay. That's very epic. Observe Mystery Goo. We've got seven minutes to apoapsis, so we're fine. We've got loads of time. EVA, not EVA here, crew report, crew report, there's the crew report, bada boom, uh, we're going to just also do our thermometer, log temperature, nice, now we're going to disable the cursor, roll, and look at that, how was that for a pro gamer move, and up, oh, log the pressure data, nice, one more experiment to do, and that is, of course, going on EVA. And if we just zoom in like that, that's good. We can just take take and restore. Uh, collect. And then restore. Collect. Remove. And restore. And then we'll just take the data from the uh, thermometer. We don't have to restore those though because they're like static experiments. They don't have like a, I guess, expendable supply of stuff like the goo and the science junior. Probably a better way to word all that. Did I take the data from the pod? I don't even remember. So let's just do it again. Why not? Just for the fun of it, eh? Uh, let's just retract the landing gear. Not that we need to, but it would just make me happy. And then we'll open the map screen and we'll zoom out. I guess we won't. I guess we will. I remembered. I remembered. And where are we? Okay, so we want to be doing our deorbit burn from the other side of Minmus. So uh, we'll just circularize first. And I'm very scared about doing our... Um, I'm going to just make a quick save. Uh, edit. Well, let's, let's go with the egg. egg. Egg, The egg thing. I'm going to regret this because I don't know how to delete quick saves in the console version. Let's just hold retro... Prograde, sorry. Prograde. I don't know what was happening with the rotating on the nav ball. I'm genuinely... I'm genuinely dumbfounded. I don't understand what that was. It wasn't doing that initially. So I don't know if it's just some, like, dumb glitch that's now... Oh, right, yeah. I don't need... I don't need... I don't need your physics time warp anymore. Uh, right. Where are we? So five minutes. So we, we can do, we can burn pretty much at Apoapsis. Two, one, oh, a little bit further. That's enough because we need to rotate. Okay, three, two, okay, then we can just use the, uh, the maneuver node screen to show us where we are. There we go. That's fine. Fine, whatever. And where are we now? So we, we need to... Oh, gosh. There we go. <laughs> uh, so there's Kerbin. So we want to be burning sort of like here, I guess. So we can just make a maneuver node. 
and click that and then up and look at that guys it's just it's just that simple i think not quite it's just this simple guys we just need to grab it what's happening what is happening what oh right yeah because this is the move thing isn't it we need to how do i get the thing where you can just oh there you go and then we need to, to... oh that that looks fine doesn't it i mean we don't really curb in pay abscess really it was it's probably because i just moved it oh it's so confusing the controls i hate it so much i hate this game guys okay it's done it's just that's so inefficient this is so inefficient we really need like there, which needs to be like here, I guess. I didn't do a very good job of predicting where we needed to start our burn. Maybe like like this. There, that's perfect. And then we zoom out, and we can see that our ah, oh, we need to do this and this again, and then and then up. Oh, and now it's just, you know what? I don't even need the. Uh, it's, it's, oh my god! I just remembered that I said I wasn't going to make maneuver nodes. Oh, I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry. I've let the side down. I feel like I didn't really need a maneuver node. I just did it for the convenience. So I guess it's fine. Oh, now I feel... Guys, I apologize profusely. I've let you down. I've let Bob Kerman there down. But most of all, guys, I've let myself down a little bit there. So I do apologize. I apologize. Hey, how was that for an ad lib joke that definitely is original to me and no one's ever made before? Why don't I read some more jokes whilst we wait for the time warp to go? Uh, how does one astronaut on the moon tell another astronaut that he is sorry? He apologize. Oh, right. Literally the next joke down in my list. What does Buzz Lightyear like to read? Comet books. <laughs> uh, why did Buzz Lightyear go to school on the sun? To get brighter. What kind of music does Buzz Lightyear... Okay, I'm sensing there's now a Buzz Lightyear theme to the jokes. What sort of music does Buzz, Buzz Lightyear listen to? Neptunes. Which chocolate bars are Buzz Lightyear's favourite? Mars bars and Milky Ways. Oh, I've just overshot the maneuver node. I was beside myself with joy from that joke, you know. Uh, we need to just... Oh, uh, down. Throttle down. Which one? Uh, just gonna... Just gonna... Can I? I thought. Can I press it? Square that like pins it. There we go. Yes, it is. So maybe like I don't know, just like forty kilometers. Maybe that's like. Oh, I can't even see it. Eighty-three. So we're gonna pin it. Oh, it's fine. It's fine, guys. Um, don't worry about it. it, it we'll just make a quick save, and if it's if it goes badly, then we can just uh, we'll just reload a quick save. Save game, quick save, yes, right. And then we'll just time warp a little bit. So we want to time warp again, just so we're high above Minmus. That looks about right, doesn't it? Don't it. Oh, and I can't see anything. Oh, I can just about see if I line up the galaxy. So um, oh, I've got the hatch. <laughs> Good start, strong start. Uh, crew report. Yes. Thingy. Observe the materials bay. There we go. Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, observe mystery goo. Very good. And then there's the that, the, the pressure thing. Barometer, that's the word. Uh, and then we're going to swing this around and take the thermometer. Yes. Lovely. Did I do a crew report? I feel like I did. We'll do another one just in case. Crew report. Yeah, that's no, fine. Uh, right, and then we need to go on an EVA. Yeah, when you disable SAS, that's weird. Look, it, the ship just starts spinning. Why is that? Why do it be that way? And then when I enable SAS... So I clearly something has gone wrong with my game and I need to restart it. But I'm so close, guys. There's a famous last word if I ever said it. Now, we want to maybe turn on his light. 
uh, uh, there you go. And as you can see, it's made a world of difference. Uh, right, we wanted to take the data. And we'll store it when we get back on automatically. We want to take that. And we want to take... I feel like it, I'm not really writing a very um, additive commentary, am I? I'm just basically saying, now we're going to take this. But I'm really concentrating so hard. Okay, collect. And restore. Where's that little thing? There it is. Collect. Remove. And the reason I'm restoring them is because we need to do science from space high above Kerbin, which we've not yet done. Did I take the data from the thermometer? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Cool. And then did I do an EVA report? I'm like so forgetful. Oh, well, who knows? <laughs> Let's quickly get back out. EVA. And of course, thank you. I can't see anything again. Get him li zoom in and then we line up there. Up oh, there he is. Uh, just um, please, can this move? EVA report. There we go. Lovely jubbly board. And I hadn't, so there we go. It's a good thing I did. And uh, then we'll just carry on time warping, I guess. Um, where are we? We're pretty close to the edge, aren't we? I'm on the edge. Sorry, don't copyright strike me. Or <gasps> I pressed the wrong button. No. I can't even zoom out. How do I zoom out? I'm on stupid time warp mode. Oh no! Oh, I'm really disappointed in myself. You know what? We're just going to leave it. We're going to time warp. Uh, there, we're just going to time warp all the way out. There, and we'll just do a retrograde burn at Apoapsis, okay? And it's fine. We've got 125 meters per second of delta V, so it's okay. Right, now we're going to do another set of data gathering. Oh, look at that. I've got light. Can we turn the ship? There we go. Right. Now we're going to do all of that again. Let's see if we can speed run it. Here we go. Observe it. Oh, I've already messed up. Observe materials bay. There we go. Luckily, we don't have to restore anything now because this stuff's all going to get dumped into the atmosphere and get destroyed. Observe. This is where I realize I'm not going to parachutes, isn't it? <laughs> Observe mystery goo. Log temperature. Use the barometer. Uh, do a crew report. Did I do that? I've already forgotten. I'm so bad at remembering what I've done. It's because it takes 10,000 years to do anything on the console. Right. EVA. Oh, I got I got a trophy. That's nice. Uh, I'm sure I've done an EVA before, though, because I've got science from... Oh, my God, I don't want you to click the crew up the cabin. I want you to click him. There we go. Right, EVA report. There we go. We're going to gather... They take this data because I can do science on our descent with the parachute. Take that because I don't know if it's going to get destroyed on re-entry, even though in theory we don't need to take the data from these anymore. Actually, we do because I just said we need to do science on whatever. Right, collect. Remove. Uh, and remove. That is lovely. Right, now... I'm not doing all that again. <laughs> we'll save. And pray, with the power of liking and sharing this video, I appreciate I'm saying this way too late, that uh, we're going to make it back in one piece. So, we're going to open up the map screen. And then we're going to toggle, get the cursor. And then... Uh, Right, and I'm going to just very slowly throttle. Uh, I don't know what's the safe altitude, really. I don't want to go too low. 69, that's nice. Uh, that's uh, 20. Oh, that's too low. Oh, uh, whatever. It's probably it's probably going to be fine. Let's just do it anyway. So, did I quick save? I think I did, didn't I? Save game, quick save. We'll just save again. Right, close the map. Right, now we can just time warp. Uh, time warp. And then we'll just time warp. <laughs> just like carefully assessing the situation. <gasps> okay. Sorry, I <laughs> nearly overshot and got a bit scared. Right. We can exit that. Stage. And stage. And now we can 
open up the weapon wheel again. And it's just that simple, folks. It's just that simple. Now, with a bit, with a bit of luck, we'll um, we'll land in the water here. Because and that way we'll get um, science from the water, which I've not done before. And something just exploded. I think it was the barometer. So you know, it's fine. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Negligible amount of science that we've lost there from losing that really. Ba, 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 ba. Right, let's do some more. Um, let's do. I know what we can do, guys. We can do the first ever Potato Aerospace live whiskey review. That's right. I got some whiskey uh, from the shop near me, and they only sell one kind of nice whiskey, and that's Jack Daniel's Old Number no. Seven, which I know I reviewed before, but I've never done it live. So there's not even a satisfying sound to me opening the bottle because it's it's not fizzy. But whatever. We're gonna. Here's the pouring. There we are. I've poured myself a nice glass of um, Jack Daniel's Old Number no. 7. And it's one of my favourite whiskies. If anything, just because of the memories I have associated with it. And it's got me through a lot of tough times. And it's a it's an affordable whisky. It's uh, it's not expensive. But it's not, like, dirt cheap. And it's not disgusting like Southern Comfort. So it's kind of the best of both worlds, really. Um, should I do some science whilst we're descending? I may as well. Uh, temperature scan. Log temperature. Flying above Kirpin's water. There we go. We'll do a we'll do a thingy. What's it called? Crew report. Uh, flying above Kirpin's water. Good. Now that our parachutes have all deployed, I think they're all deployed. Nope. We we'll still wait for that one. When the big one deploys, we'll uh, we'll go on EVA and do some EVA science. And now we're just gonna just gonna breathe in the fumes. Just really get my nose in. Hmm. It's not a. It's not a smooth smell, you know, it's a little bit rough, but that's part of the charm, you know, it's part of the charm. I'm going to have a little sip. Oh, that is nice. Just savouring the taste. Excellent, yes. Every bottle of Jack Daniels Old Number no. 7. Old Number no. 7, by the way, that's like the classic Jack Daniels that everyone thinks of when they think of the name Jack Daniels. It's got a very nice, so a real nice flavor. It's very oaky flavor, very charcoaly. Their nicer ones are the Gentleman Jack and the Single Barrel Select, my favorite American whiskey. I was looking for the barometer. Uh, it's not as nice as those. Those are like the same, but a bit smoother. And to be honest, like although, uh, I might say quick save egg. Overwrite one of them. You know, uh, although I like Single Barrel Select, like oftentimes you got, Gentleman Jack could often give it a run for its money. Oh yeah, I was meant to go on an EV airport, wasn't I? Because uh, single barrel select, the novelty is that every barrel is different. I should probably rephrase that. Every bottle of whiskey comes from the same barrel, and every barrel can taste different. Something like Old Number no. Seven, that just comes from a whole bunch of different barrels, and they just sort of mash them all together, uh, which is fine. But it means that they all taste the same, and it's oh god, please, oh, thank god. Oh, I started panicking. He <laughs> wasn't getting back on the thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I was I having to jump in and out of my whiskey review so much that I've lost, lost track of what I was doing. I'm very drunk already, clearly, after one sip. Um, but, yeah, I, I do like this whiskey. I've already given it a score out of 10, and I've forgotten what that is. So any Matt Lown historians out there can write in the comments what I gave it. But I give it a kind of a high a higher score than what it probably arguably deserves. There are nicer whiskeys, or, you know, nicer budget whiskeys out there than old number no. 7. But old number no. 7 to me... That's like the whiskey that like introduced me to whiskey, you know? Oh, I got a trophy. How about that? It's the whiskey that got me into into whiskey, and got me to like experiment with like nicer ones. Oh no, back. Um, so you know, it's always gonna have a soft spot. It's always got a place in my heart. Old oh, number seven. Right, I'm now gonna really concentrate because I don't wanna mess up. So yeah, it's a good whiskey, and I've had a little sip of it on on this uh, this non live stream. Maybe I should have live streamed this. Whatever, it's too late now. Uh, take the data. What I did consider, guys, actually, I feel like I might have mentioned this last time, is I might just stream these on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Matt Lown. I don't know. I can't imagine there's many variations of Matt Lown on Twitch, though. Right? It's a very uncommon name. 
Uh, you can go follow me there, and I might stream it. The downside is I don't want to spend ages acknowledging the chat, so it'd be like this, where I don't acknowledge the chat at all. But it might be fun for you to just watch, and I can look at the Twitch chat and for help and stuff. But I can't actively really, like, read chats and stuff, because it would make the video that I upload to YouTube not that great. And um, this ultimately is a YouTube video. Right, did I... I don't even remember what I was doing. Did I... So I took that data, so now I need to log it again, don't I? Good, and then take... I know I don't technically need to, but at this point, I'm just going to... Oh, hang on, take... Right, I've already forgotten what I have and haven't done. Did I take the data yet? I don't know. Whatever, I have now. Did I do a crew report? Uh, uh, EVA report. That's what I meant to do. No, I've already done that, but I haven't done a, uh, a thingy surface sample, which I can't even find... Take surface. That's it, there, isn't it? Oh, hang on. Yeah. Oh, that's an EVA report. Oh, oh God! I've pressed the wrong because circle is the back button, isn't it? And it always is the back button. I don't care what you guys say. It's always the back button. Uh, right. Now we need to do a crew report. Oh, I can just drag this. Right. Crew report. Where is? There it is. It's just there. It was just there. To science. It was worth it. I think we can all agree there. Now we're going to press square on his head. I'd take a surface sample. 12 science. And then we're going to board. That is lovely. And there we are. We're going to recover the vessel. I'm so happy. <laughs> This is when my computer blue screens and I lose everything. I shouldn't joke like that. That wasn't funny. I didn't like that. <laughs> oh, I know PS4. You're very hot, uh, but you can have your rest soon. 1,711.4 science. That's a lot of science to work with. We can definitely unlock a lot of stuff with this. We probably want to get... We want more science. That's what we want. So... Where's the seismometer? I thought I had the seismometer. I thought it was quite early on in the tech tree. It must be soon, surely. Am I just missing it? Where is the seismometer? It's not in electrics. There it is. Oh, it's quite far. We need the seismometer. So let's unlock this. Cool. Anything useful there? Junior docking port would probably be useful to have, wouldn't it? But let's see if there's anything else that we could use. 300 science. Yeah, we need to get that. We need that, mate. Uh, advanced electrics. We don't really need advanced electrics at this point. We have, you know, equivalents in the lower tech tiers from what we have so far. Don't need anything from here, really, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, let's get this. Right, and then... I don't know. Don't really... We kind of want to get the command pod. The Gemini one would be fine, that one there. Advanced flight control, that'd be a good thing to go for. So let's go with that we want Flight control and advanced flight control. Do we need aviation? I'm not seeing anything essential there. We probably want some bigger parts. This would be useful. We've got the Poodle engine there. Uh, don't necessarily need anything there. It'd be nice to have the mainsail, but it's not essential. Uh, we want we want fuel. We want the fuel thing, the fuel line. We want that. That's an important one. And... Um, I guess for completeness sake we want that one because it's got the decouplers. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need. That might be useful because it's got the bigger parachute. So we'll get that. <laughs> and... Anything else? I guess we can just start splashing out on stuff now. Let's just, uh, let's get the mainsail. That would be useful to have. Do we need anything from there? I guess it would be useful to have the spark, wouldn't it? We've got the spark... We'll get the main sail and that, and then we can get the nuclear engine. Which I'm not sure if we have enough science for. We just. But I feel like there's probably other things we should get. Once we're getting a bit further. So that'll be a useful one to have, and that's only 90, because it's got the, the wider stance radial decoupler. Anything from here that we need? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, what's that? Don't really. Oh, there we that, That's what we want. That's the big thing we need. We need to get the MUN launch site. So, as long as we go down this path. Oh my gosh, we're nearly there. We literally could have unlocked it this episode if I wanted to, but we've got to, we've got to unlock the full tech tree, haven't we? I just don't think there's that much benefit from going down the electric route. 
I feel that like this one it's only 160 science, so I guess there's nothing, there's no need for anything there. Although we do need, that ladder would be nice. And the lab would be useful too. So let's unlock that. And we haven't got enough for that. But that'll be a good one to unlock next. And we'll have loads of science after our next mission. So let's just like, we may as well, for like completeness sake, we'll get the aviation node that we don't really need, need it. 100 science left. Yeah, let's just get that. Why not? And then we've got all of the ones on this tier. Ooh, I've, I did something. Well, there we are. Can we zoom out? Yep, we can. I'm just, I just don't read. Well, there, there. Can we get it centered? There we go. That's more or less centered. Whoop. What have I done? There we are. Oh, there, there we are. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Oh, we're going to save, actually. Save game. Edit. Ep. Duh. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Matt's Whiskey Reviews. Uh, we also went to Minmus as well. That was a good thing we did. Um, like I said, any any feedback is appreciated. I did enjoy reading your comments below. Uh, it was I got some really useful advice from those. And uh, I just like reading the comments in general. I don't have much else to do. I've got a broken hand. I can't do anything else. Um, uh, sorry, my PS4 is shouting at me, telling me to turn off. So I'm going to put an end screen on screen. The left is a list of my Patreons. Thank you all so much uh they they make this series happen and i'm started recently giving patrons early access to videos when i can so there's a benefit to signing up to patreon if you want uh on the screen as well there are links to other things Le the top link can be a link to the full playlist if you've not caught up thus far uh the bottom one is a video chosen for you by youtube's recommendation algorithm based on your viewing habits uh there's a link to subscribe and check out patreon as well i guess i've probably run out of time right now i haven't got it in front of me but i'm guessing that i've run out of time so bye